Alrighty, let's uh, get things started here. Make sure we get the thread pulled up. Good stuff. Hello. Welcome. We are checking out. I should have looked this up. Is it Gippsland? Maybe Gypsland? Tough to say. Uh, Rolling Hills. Um, brought to you in part by Ken Wise on the uh, TGCT uh, Pro Boards forum here. And I'll read you the, uh, the description here, uh, which is the fictional background of the facility. It says the limestone rolling hills of the Gippsland, Gippsland region of Victoria in Australia has uh, historically been a dairy country. However, one of the struggling dairy farmers decided to diversify by planting a small plantation, installing wind turbines, and converting part of his farm into a basic golf course. He built the course with minimal changes to the land, expanding old cattle tracks for access, keeping the grand old shade trees as hazards, slowly converting the old boggy patches into ponds, and simply mowing the land to create fairways, tees, and greens. Welcome to the Gippsland, Gippsland, Rolling Hills Golf Course. I'll call it Gippsland for now. This is like GIF versus GIF. Um, the part about this that looks really enticing to me at least is uh the course is bunker free but it's a bit of a roller coaster ride with plenty of elevation changes as you go uphill and down um sometimes you play along valleys and sometimes along the ridge lines which is sweet um let's take a look here uh, a lot of movement in the green, so the default green speed is medium slow. Uh, we'll comfortably go to moderate medium speed. Fast, very fast, only recommended for masochists because some of the pins will play barely legal and run off from many of the greens will test your patience. However, it's a fun challenge when you put the winds on very high. Uh, I just have it set to default here. Um, four pins were set to pin one. Um, because chosen at random off screen uh, we are at uh, at pin one and da, 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 da. default weather and lighting is a misty early morning course will cope with uh, dawn and dusk recommend only in clear conditions noon rain around also looks good but um yeah no i like the idea of kind of rolling hills stick the philosophy of a dairy farmer moving as little earth as possible um, basically mowing the pastures he already had, uh, and then added a few more items as originally planned to build a hopefully convincing landscape. Um, object meter's only at 25, so, yeah, no, just taking a look around here, there's those wind turbines, as mentioned, which is awesome. Got this neat little wind farm type of thing up here, up in the hills which is very neat. You've got the kind of traditional end-over-end -end planting of uh, trees out there in the distance, which is neat. And then we've got farmer's little tractor barn there, which is cool. I like the little mowing paths there. It's always good stuff. Kind of a mulchy, dirt little car park, all things considered, which is kind of fun, because if you want, you can drive up to the wind turbines and take a look from the top of the hill. A neat little, like, old farm, barn, kind of clubhouse type thing. Good place for a fire pit right there, too, kind of just kind of looking over the, the 
Jeep, which can confirm lots of rolling hills. Got a little water tower in the distance, like the hot air balloon. A couple of trees. Yeah, very pasture-esque. As uh, somebody from the Midwest of uh, the U.S. myself, this is very convincing. Uh, and then he's got a... I like the... you got a neat little range here, too. Just a little hitting bay. Five little greens, just kind of down the hill. Got some lights out there. Let's uh, let's Farmer Brown or whoever the farmer is here, Farmer Ken, hit a couple of balls late at night. And the other thing too I really like is you got the like one set of tees type of vibe, you know, nothing too uh, nothing too extravagant or crazy. It's just one one set of tees to mow. Nothing uh, nothing all that complicated. Relatively easy to maintain. Shades of uh, a course here called Black Sheep Golf Club, which is kind of an all. It's a. It's technically an all men's club, but it's. Uh, they've got I think what, maybe two sets of tees, three sets of tees total, but it's usually condensed into one box. So yardage is played pretty consistently, but this looks really cool. I'm very intrigued to uh, give this a go here. So. Good opener, big, uh, just tons of scale, lots of room here. And a cracking start, get up to the top of the hill here. That'll work. And this one's around. 140 yards to the pin. And this would be so cool to have in real life. You know, just big old pasture, lots of lots of space, and yeah, yeah, we'll put a couple of teasing greens out there, kind of make my own golf course. I like it. This is also what was mentioned too, again, kind of these big false fronts. Which is certainly welcome. We're gonna to try to throw this off that back not, ridge if we can. Uh, not positive. Could be rough. Could be fairway though. Use the slope. That's okay. Oh. No worries. We'll be on the green soon Nearly. enough. Nearly. This one's your third. Well, oh, that might be too much. Oh, that might be too much. All right, we're good to go. Here we go. Drop this and save that par. All right, medium slow was the. Uh, advertised speeds here so we need to be a little more aggressive than what we're used oh, to with uh, TGC tour five. speeds having just played the qualifier yesterday okay starting the round above par here to had to play my second qualifier uh, too I think the we'll first one I played I shot like seven over or whatever and didn't even qualify for a tour and here comes a par three for us love that first par three. Oh, this is cool There's this tiny little flat piece here. Again, Farmer kind of just sculpted out the the top here, just kind of pushed the earth kind of forwards and backwards to create this little plateau of a green. Cut right into the hill. Down 45, so it's kind of tough to tell, but we're going to... Try to throw this into the slope, see if we can let that ball come off that side hill and go back to the pin. Almost like a Redan. Which is Decent perfect, we'll take that. There. This next putt is for your birdie. Alright, here, give it a little extra. Nope, not quite. Five foot putt coming up. There's a little yippy on my part. Ooh, I thought that would putt. leak a little bit. It didn't, but that's all right. Perfectly fine. Really enjoying this so far. And you're one over par currently. And here we go. Oh, look, we got cows. What's going on, fellas? Nice little boggy watering hole here. Is that OB? It is. 
It is, it is. And this is cool here too, so again you've got kind of this little flat in the land, not a lot of movement, not a lot of uh, other elevation change. It's just kind of this subtle, gentle little valley here down in this little bog. It's like, cool, yeah, we can put a couple of golf holes in here. And there's the next one right up there. It kind of looks like a short par four. I love it. Only thing for me... Of course, as you zoom in, it gets better. But... Whoops. You get a little kind of funky water texture, like right here, how it kind of bleeds over the, like the mulch mud kind of look you're going for there. And I know you're going for, um, like a minimalist type look here, but I could use just a little more planting and like you know some grasses and things like that for the cows the 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 heavy rough is fine it's just this kind of bank side here make it a little more boggy like you got kind of that weird little cut out texture again this is me just being very nitpicky I really like this I really enjoy it yeah like over here you've done a nice job right here in the weeds. So maybe just kind of sprucing that up a little bit along the the bank's edge, if you will. Or maybe just cutting the cutting the little ditch or the little uh, irrigation canal a little deeper. But again, just just me nitpicking here. Shades of the road hole here, just starting it over the cow fence, over the out of bounds, nice. and bringing her back in. I like it. Second shot on the third. Oh, this is a par five. I didn't even know. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, maybe since it's so far uphill, maybe we just get this thing on the ground. Kind of throw it up under that upper level. Let's see here. That's bold, using the driver off the fairway. I'll, I'll take it. Just get her, get her running. Climb! Oh. And this is your third shot. Not bad. Same thing here, too. So, dude, we, we know we have a pretty severe uphill shot here, but if we can get it off the ground, get it up to the green, just get her rolling. I use the the slope that we've got as a little backstop. There we go. Wanted a little higher if we could, but that's all right. All right, staring down a birdie pot here. We will take it. Oh, Just let this slowly there. go down the hill. Ah. I went right by. And just inches to the hole. Under Reddit. And you're sitting at one over par at the moment. Bit of a wasted opportunity there, but that's all right. Yeah, you might need a little more power. We got a headwind on this hole. Mm, here we go. Oh, 445. Oof. So much for a short par four here. Uh, this is interesting. So again, kind of got the high side. You could take it all the way down the low side if you want. Leave yourself the big uphill shot. We're going to try to aim for the high side here. See if that ball will stay up there for us. Kind of kill it in the first cut. Yeah, that'll work. That'll do nicely. Exactly. Okay, about, I'd say, 185 or so to oh. pin from here. <laughs> cool green here. right on top of that ridge kind of like you mentioned again these little fingers of the hills like yeah we can fit a green up there that's all right it's it's very video gamey to to have these hills be so severe 
on a initially I mean it's it's cool I like it I like the aesthetic I'm thinking more on the realism side I guess you could maybe make them just a little less severe and still have the whole play uphill come on give us a kick to the right I guess I should kick right and feed right there she goes we'll take it Okay, we're on the Because it feels more like a mountain than it Take does a hill. Down to even par with this putt. But again, we're talking about a video game here. The the realism spectrum doesn't have to be too intense. Ah, nope. That thing barely moved. Oh, there it goes. This putt's about four feet. Oh, my. oh and then that got and quick to the right. The bogey. Man, see, the first one barely moved. The second one shot to the right. Oh, well, that's what I get. Okay, tailwind blowing with us on this one. Again, this is just me nitpicking, but we're talking about 90 feet worth of elevation change here. As opposed to what would probably max out in real life at about 30 or 40. But again, this is just me being extraordinarily nitpicky. Neat hole here, though. and kind of fairway down in that flat, making it easier for the uh, farmer to mow his fairways. Whoop, that's a fast, but that should come off that hill. Well, that's too bad. Oh, almost. Here's our second shot on this fifth hole. So, cause I, again, this is just me being super, super, super nitpicky, but I think the back of the screen looks extra severe, this little fairway slope. And that hill just is so tall. It feels more like a feels like a mountain more than it does a like a farm hill, and I'm from Illinois, so I'm I'm used to farm hills. But I like it. Again, this is just, this is me being extremely nitpicky with a golf course yeah, that I am thoroughly be... enjoying, and okay, here comes a nine so far five. have every indication of favoring favoriting it when I'm done here. All right, let's see if we can get this one to go. This putt's good so Bang. far. Hey, there we are. Beautiful shot. We were a little more aggressive there and got the birdie. And you're sitting at one over for the round. Here comes a par four. All right, let's check out some of the plant and plant work here. Whoops. I'm on console, so you have to bear with me on some of the shady camera work. I guess I and I. I get it. I like that this is gradual. Again, it's just like a natural low, so there's just going to be water that kind of natural, naturally collects down here. But if there was ever a way to kind of define the sculpting a little bit to kind of get this water texture to be more straight across and less jagged, I think that'd be my only real critique here with your work. Um, but the planting is fantastic this is more of what I was hoping for with that other bog back on what is that four maybe three I want to say and then that big tree too again just we're talking about scale I think is the the biggest thing here yeah, is that play. that big tree if Let's I'm uh, here with an elevated green if I'm going back to club. putter and I turn the camera around like me compared to that <laughs> or my little avatar compared to that that looks like a giant redwood compared to me so maybe I just the, the, the overall scale of the plot the the tree itself things like that just it's it's good and again I understand what you're going for but maybe just trying to dial it back just a smidge um, to to really kind of enhance the realism of the property. But again, now we're talking like 35 feet. I would expect this to be like your your biggest slope on the golf course as opposed to we had like a 90 or an 80 footer um, on the last hole. Again, I'm nitpicking here, Ken. I am thoroughly enjoying this so far. 
and love the concept. I love the idea of a bunkerless golf course and kind of using the slopes and kind of natural terrain to create hazards. And it's an, a side of golf course design that not a lot of people embrace. And I think you've not only embraced it, you've very nice. kind of captured the idea of it as we roll in a birdie putt. Let's go. Okay, let's see what you can do little back to back here. Three. Cool view. Little par three back down the hill here. Let's see, 58. Try to take a little extra off here. Anticipating a fast, playing a little draw. Uh oh, carry. One big bounce. Hey, we got it. Hey, that's another green and regulation. We'll take that. Put up a birdie here. Let's see if we can be a little aggressive. Oh, oh, that's going right by. we went for it. Had to give her a go. This one's just a five footer. This one's tracking. But awesome. we'll clean that's that up we'll nicely. It. Yeah, this this absolutely screams with high Stay winds and maybe slightly firmer long, conditions. Us down screams a, a good CC course here. I know it's been admitted to the database, but um, yeah, this is this is good stuff. I guess maybe, and I'm not all that familiar with with Gippsland, uh, Victoria, but. I've got maybe, instead of mostly gradual slopes here, maybe you could add bigger hillside kind of humps. You know, obviously kind of keeping the integrity of the slope, but still having a, a slight imperfection, like another hump or bump. Uh-oh, not a good swing there. Kick left. Because this mostly feels inconsequential, as I actually leave one in the rough, but setting up here um, deep stuff. You know, make it making it a little more penal if in fact you do miss a fairway. Just a thought. We're just gonna slap this up the hill. Not the best effort, but that's one fine. Under par if you can sink this. Uh, okay, we're going to try something here. We're going to try to put it up in there. Let's see if that'll come back. We'll Gah, we need faster green speeds one. for that. That's okay. And this is your look at par. Gave it a run. Let's Stone's see if we can brush that line. in. Let's go. Okay, moving on. That will work. That hole's gonna keep you right there at even par. But yeah, right thoroughly enjoying everything here so far. Let's take a look down in here. Again, love the love the planting work down here. The the water looks really good. Kind of this boggy marsh area that you're talking about, which we've impressed. We might need to favor the. Uh, oh no, we don't. I was gonna say we might need to favor the left side here. Get that tree out of play, but. I don't think that's going to be a worry, of course, as I say that. And we put a slow good. swing on it. But I think we're going to be okay. Like about 185 yards out. And there we go. Uh, let's give it one more. See if we can use more of the, more of the backstop and try to put a little more of a f faster swing on it. Whoop. A little too fast. Oh, a little too firm. Oh, uh, missed the green on that one. Oh, uh, well, that's okay, all right. Maybe we can chip one in here. Shot. Nope, not as aggressive slope as I thought. This putt is uh, about 14 feet. But that's all right. Again, just up the hill. Don't be afraid to give it a go. 
Bang, let's go. We'll there. take that. Wow. That'll work for par. Delightful little front nine. Again, we'll go past the driving range. And after that one, you'll stay at even par. There's a beer uh, in five. the state of Wisconsin, which is kind of the neighboring state to the north, if you're unfamiliar with U.S. geography, called Spotted Cow. Perfect place to have a spotted cow. Oh, Neat par five here, right intense. along the ridge line as well. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I love this. Uh, do I love this? I love the green sight. But I think I would tuck it more in the in the bottom and make it more of a taco or a potato chip as it were. I mean, I know we're talking about a 600 yard par 5 here anyways, but still. Uh, which way do we want to go here? Just because I can try to draw this sucker all the way around the tree. And then just get it on the ground. Let's see if this will go. You must be feeling lucky. Taking driver off the turf. Just kick and run and do a whole bunch of stuff. Or go right behind the tree. The ball's got a bit of a line <laughs> of <its> own. <coughs> Excuse me. Third shot. Oof. That's what I get. Oh, we lucked out. That could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. Let's just give ourselves a little extra leeway here. See if we can throw one up into this mound and then have it come back down to the green. Ah, bad swing. Bad swing on our part there. You go down to one under if this goes in. Apologies in advance for my nasaliness as well. We're already kind of fighting a cold as it is. Oh, it's not anywhere close, is it? It is not. I mean, at least we got it up on the hill, though. Oh, this one could drop. Give it a run. Oh. Just three feet left. That's okay. Hey, that's what we get for hitting it behind a tree. All right, mark that one down as a bogey. Par four hole. Alrighty, checking out eleven here. Oh, I like it. I like the idea. Again, that tree's in a nice spot. I think my only Second thing with this is going to be, again, the kind of this number 11. sloping here where the where the water is. See, we've got a little bit of water in the actual grass or in the rough. So maybe just kind of sculpting this out just a little bit more and make that water line a little more defined, I think is probably the only really need here. And again, this is me nitpicking. See if we can get this thing just one big bounce and then roll on down. Just one big bounce and then roll on down. That'll work. And this one is for the bird. Clean up our bogey from ten there. This one after a bogey on the last. Yeah, I done. I think that's probably my only Josh real thing. A lot of the water lines are a little more jagged, kind of imperfect, I guess is a good way to list it, but that also feels kind of harsh. Um, oh, what do we have here? Uh, all right, so we're just throwing it up on top of the hill, and then hopefully it sticks. You know what? Let's give this a go. Shall we? Why not? Just try to hit it right into that hill. See if it'll come backwards and stay right on that lip. Oh, nearly.
oh well no stuff. big deal um, okay this is about 125 yards away but uh, but anyways yeah no I would I would try for the try for that your your ponds marshes water lines things like that to be a little more um, approach shot worked out just fine defined instead of jagged one under maybe doing a little planning off of the th it's three or four that Let's first par five Ooh, oh, nearly Oh, and then just with the packs. kind of the countryside, the hillside here, again, all the big slopes are great. I'm I'm a fan of that. I just think the overall scale is a little too big. Um all right, and then uh, here on the thirteenth. Adding kind of those little micro slopes or micro imperfections of uh of of the of the hills, because your greens have them, which is good. But yeah, just kind of these this little jagged, like right in here, where that arrow is, with the water line there, just just trying to flatten that out a little bit, or not flatten it out, but sculpt out the pond a little bit more to make it more refined of a water level, um, would be my only main critique there. But your plant, what your planting work is fantastic. Again, the the cows in the fence with the pasture is great. Again, this very much feels like a farm. Uh oh, speaking of ponds. And that's going to get wet. What a terrible swing that was. All right, hold on. We're 10 cupping it. We're trying it again. This is what our third shot's looking like. Um, trying to uh, trying to add some more micro slopes and, and hills and humps and things like that into the hillside, I think, is uh, here. a little bit closer to... To, to making things a little more penal if you miss a fairway out here. Again, I'm I'm very well aware that this isn't here. necessarily designed to be the toughest course in the world, but it is always well, kind of fun if you have line. a funky lie or something oh. of that nature for blowing a blowing a tee shot into a fairway or we'll not fairway, blowing a tee shot into the rough or a little wayward. And that'll leave you at three over for the day. Which, by the way, way to make a mess of that okay, par three. Sheesh. Number fourteen, ready to go. Yep, and again, a little water there, kind of bleeding over into the rough. And then the cows, too. At your, the, the plant work is great, but the, the cows are, are missing some grass over here, too. Let my, uh, let my cows eat. Again, this is just me being nitpicky. I am really enjoying this golf course, and this is absolutely added to our uh, no laying up refuge society's uh, course rotation take a driver off the fairway are you driver off the deck run 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 hit it up the hill we we'll like that that'll work <laughs> cow in the back little swishy tails i like it setting up here now for our third i like it show. i like it Again, naturally, all out of bounds up there on the right, on that side of the fence. I like it. That's not your land. If you've seen the TV show Yellowstone, you'll you'll appreciate the uh, you know it's not that's not your land. We don't okay, share land here. This would take Although this course is technically in Australia. All right, let's see here if we can get this thing to go. Be a little more aggressive up the hill. Oh, really Gah, chump side. Ooh, just, just missed. This one's a short three-foot putt. Not bad, but we'll gladly clean it up. All right, we've got a par four on this one. All righty, let's see if we can get this back to even par before the end of our round here. So again, big, big back down the hill here. I, by the way, your location of fairway here is fantastic. This is shades of like Aaron Hills or um, Chambers Bay or Band and Dunes, places like that, where you're just kind of dropping fairways naturally into the landscape. This is like the perfect place for a fairway and a green. And I, I very much applaud you, Ken, on your uh, on your work here. 
Although, again, just from a scale perspective, that just seems really aggressive and for, for a mowing line for me. But that's just that's just my humble opinion. Also, this tree is huge! Like redwood size. Well, I think you but I like it. Here. It adds a nice little challenge for guys like me trying to hit wedges up off that slope nice and down into uh, where that pin is. Green. Good work. This could be a birdie on the scorecard. We'll get in that there. in for our birdie. birdie Ugh, triple at 13 really did us in. And two strokes above par currently. Might be able to do some uh, fun stuff on this short par four. Oh, I love this. Love the short par four, love the green sight. Again, the only thing would be this slope right up here. Again, I get it. I understand kind of the pasture that you're going for, but this seems like this seems like Farmer Brown blew out, used some dynamite and blew out the side of the hill to put a green here. Whereas if, if this hill wasn't as aggressive, I mean, I'm sure there's a hole up here too. Yeah, there you go. There's a par three down there. If this slope wasn't as big, instead of it being 80. 79 feet tall, maybe making it like 30 or 40 feet tall. Might make kind of sculpting this green side a little more realistic as opposed to more Reese Jones and Tom Fazio blowing dynamite oh, yeah, out of the side of the hill. Play. But again, this is just the, me being very nitpicky here. I love this hole, though. I love the idea of this hole. Again, a little drivable nice short par four. You got an eagle putt coming up. This is an eagle putt. Kind of a fun go, again, if you're adding wind. Would really make this hole a challenge. Did we leave this just criminally short? Oh, we left it in the heart. Oh, I feel for you. That uh, eagle would have been sensational. Okay, yeah, it's okay, though. We'll take a birdie. One over par. And yeah, again, little micro humps and bumps and things like that up on, on the hillside would be a, a fun little addition. I think I love this idea of a par 3. Again, it's like, yeah, no, big downhill. You have no problem getting it to the putting surface, but if you go long, it'll be wet. Gives guys like me a chance to stand on the tee and go, oh, crap, how downhill is this? Oh, and we put a slow swing on it, too. But we got the right club. Okay, you're on the green and you're putting. That's a good thing. I was going to say, all things birdie. considered, no major complaints there. The hole? 61 feet, give it a whack. Ooh, too much of a whack. Whoa, Just way too much of a whack. Too much power. This one's your third. That's what we get for nice chip. rushing through that first putt. Okay, we're moving on. Let's, let's get this next hole. Bad bogey there, but that's all right. Just two strokes above par. Really, really, really like the idea of this Team golf course, though. Again, the, the concept of it being just kind of minimalist. There's no real bunkers. It's just dropping golf holes into the land as it kind of naturally falls. Kind of fun little field goal here, second oh, shot. All right, we got about into this par five. Fifty yards to go here. Let's see if we can get her all the way up there. And again, your green sizing is fantastic. Your fairway sizing is fantastic. Your green oh, yeah. sculpting I'll, I'll, is fantastic. Uh, like um, at least again, my indication of of everything uh, putting wise is this very much fits into the, the, the CC side, the challenge circuit side of the TGC um, tour and uh, yeah, no, I, this is great, again got a nice little water tower there in the background, I love the aesthetic, let's see if we can finish with an eagle it could be a good one do it, yeah 
Yeah, how about it? Ending it with a three to shoot an even par 72. And a delightful experience. Ken, this one's absolutely going in my favorites list. Um, again, little things to scale of the property I think is just a little too aggressive for farm um, but that's just me um, uh, the, the the whole design was great your decision on where to put the fairways and where most of those greens were I thought you did a really nice job of balancing valleys versus hillsides versus spines um, I guess maybe I could have used one more spine hole in there, but I haven't really been keeping track of how many greens there were that you placed on a spine. But, um, no, everything was very playable. It was very enjoyable. I had a blast, and absolutely two thumbs up uh, from here in the greater Chicagoland area here, Ken. Again, really enjoyed it. Um, thanks for, for taking the, the, the criticism and the review, but, again, overall, fantastic experience. If you're watching this and unfamiliar, go check out Gippsland. Gippsland Rolling Hills on uh, 2K23. Again, appreciate it. Thank you for uh, for following along and listening and uh, watching the round. And uh, if I don't, uh, if you don't hear from me or watch any more of these, I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll uh, see you for the next one. Cheers.